What's up, fellow Astroholics? Dano here. Uh, I'm going to do a short video on the payload capacity. I had a comment from Bradley, I believe it is, on my last video, asking about something like a, a DSLR and a kit lens. How would it fit with the five pound counterweight? And today we're going to test all that out. I'm going to test my lightest setup I have and what I've been currently running, which is my heaviest. So currently I'm running the William Optics Red Cat slash Night Cat with a uh, ZWO ASI 2600 and I have a dual dovetail finder which I mounted my uh, guide scope and guide camera and the ASI Air Pro and I weighed this the other day on my scale and it says it's about 7.8 pounds feels like it's slightly heavier to me but this is for sure maxing out this rig this setup right here um when i have the rest of my cables hooked in i can't i it's kind of it's camera side heavy and uh let me just loosen this up we'll we'll see now it may balance well come back with that a little bit so it may ba it'll balance well without the cables hooked up but once i get the cables hooked up and run into the battery it's kind of it, it's just slightly and it's still just slightly camera side heavy you can see it moving see it moving back that way you know if only skywatcher had made this counterweight shaft you know about an inch or two longer that's what she said. So you can see it's just slightly camera and telescope side heavy. It keeps wanting to go back that way. So what I'll probably have to end up doing is taking this dual dovetail finder off, mounting the ASI air back on the tripod leg, and um, uh, just putting the guide scope back on top of the saddle here. And that'll reduce enough weight because before I installed this, it was this was working out fine, just this one counterweight. Okay, so something else I learned by um, just seeing if it would fit was this is the Ioptron um, Skyguider Pro counterweight shaft, and I took this off and I was like, oh man, if this if this thing will fit, the GTI problem solved. The problem is it has a different thread on this counterweight bar than the one that comes with the GTI. It's a different size. So I'm going to just unscrew this top hole here. And set that there. Don't lose that. So here's the, uh, the low latitude notch. Doesn't fit. Different size screw. So that didn't work. So I was like, well, that stinks. I was hoping that would fit because that would solve my issue because I just need to slide this weight down just, you know, just a little bit and it'll be balanced. Well, one thing I learned is by testing this out, the screw holes are different, so the counterweight bar will not fit. What will fit is the actual uh, counterweight itself. This is the three-pound counterweight that goes on my Skyguider Pro and it slides right on and tightens down. So what I've done is I've ordered a second one of these three pound Skyguider counterweights and this is five pounds and this will be six. So it's not pushing the mount too much more but that should allow me to balance and keep this, uh, keep this as a grab and go set up so i can just grab it and hook my other cut my two or three cables up and then i'm i'm ready to roll so 
a little fix if you need it is the iOption Sky Guider Pro and Sky Tracker uh, counterweight. The three pound counterweight does fit the Sky Watcher GTI counterweight bar. So now I'm um, going to get to just a little simple setup like this um, Canon T5i and a 50 millimeter lens. And what I have here installed is um, a little dovetail bar I got off of Amazon. I think it was like 35 bucks. You could, you'll need something like this to mount it into your saddle up here. If you needed to increase some weight, you could get a longer one, and that'll help you with balancing as well. I mean, this this will, you know, work right here. But if you needed some more weight, you could get a longer dovetail bar. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to slide this in here. So originally, was asked about the counterweight that comes with it. So the problem with this counterweight is in this original uh, counterweight shaft hole, the one that comes straight down on the axis, is you have the, the, the screw here that it'll bump into that you can't go too high with it in this setting because it it'll bump into this screw and also it bumps let's see what was i catching the other day i was catching something else i mean if you turn it like that it's going to catch yeah it's going to catch that so that's not going to work that's way too this five pound weight is way too heavy for just like a small setup like a DSLR and a 50 millimeter lens is not gonna so uh, I took that off and I tried just the counterweight bar to see maybe well maybe that'll offset it but then that becomes camera heavy so that's not gonna work I'm gonna tighten this back down before I try the uh, Ioptron Sky Guider counterweight what you would do is you would take the counterweight bar out of the bottom hole here and put it into the low latitude. Now I'm going to throw this five pound counterweight back on here and I'm going to throw it all the way up to the top and we'll see. If that balances and it's still weight heavy it's weight side heavy and one more thing and I haven't tried this I'm going to try this right now this collar that comes on this bar you could take it off and just try that see if that gives you a little bit more room to work with so I'm taking took the collar off and it's not going to screw all the way in there. I don't want to damage that. That lets me run the weight all the way up to the mount. I'm going to loose, loosen this screw. That actually is close to balanced but it's still just slightly weight side heavy but that is pretty close that's pretty close but that's not going to work either so honestly the only fix is to get one of these three pound counterweights i believe which is a shame it should have came with two um two like a 2.5 and a 2.5 or something they could have split this but I know that's production costs, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to put this, this back on here. And I'm going to try it first back here on the original counterweight shaft hole. 
and I'm going to put the this guy got a counterweight on. Let's just see. So once again, still counterweight heavy, and you can't go up too high because you hit you hit the um, your latitude adjustment screw there. So that's not working. So the, apparently the only fix for a simple small setup like this T5i and this 50 millimeter lens is to go into the low latitude counterweight shaft hole. Tighten that down. And then take this Sky Guider Pro counterweight. This should get the trick done as far as balancing. That's it. So if you're going to run, and I needed to know this because I'm going to run this 50 millimeter lens uh, with, with a guiding setup. So I'll, I'll have to use the smaller counterweight. This one is not going to work. That's too heavy, way too heavy. And now I know I'll have to use this front notch to put the bar. But that balance is right there. Uh, kit lens would be a little bit heavier than this 50 millimeter, but I do have a battery grip on this camera. So that adds a little bit of weight. Um, yeah, that, that's balance right there as far as the uh, right ascension. So there's my little tip is if you're going to run a smaller setup on the GTI, you're going to have to pick up uh, one of these three pound Ioptron Sky Guider Pro counterweights. Uh, they had some on Hot Point Scientific and they had some on Gina. Uh, I imagine if this video picks up and you know gets a lot of views, they'll probably be sold out pretty quick. So you may want to grab one. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's my payload capacity tutorial for the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI.